Hello, Archons. It's Brobnar89 back with another groundbreaking discovery here on Call of the Week. See what kind of madness we get today with the houses first on this one. Star Alliance, Shadows, and Sanctum. Ooh, look at that. He's got he's got little sword arms there. This is a Wolverine. Getting a little X-Men deck in here. Peregrine Um Um Amudha. Why do I keep pulling these very difficult to read names? This is not nice for a dyslexic Keyforge. <laughs> I'm just joking. This is an uh, interesting name indeed. Um, cool. All right. Star Alliance, Shadows, and Sanctum. All the S's. All the S house names here. Let's see what we've got going on. Okay, starting off with Sanctum Guardian, a six power, one armor taunting creature. Uh, fight Reap Swap Sanctum Guardian with another friendly creature in your battle line. Interestingly, it's not a choice. It is a must. So you won't, you know, you you can still keep one of the same creatures protected. But it, it opens a lot of possibilities. Um, yeah, it's, it's a neat card. I like it. Uh, bring low hooray so good to see this got an amber pip on it action it brings a capture enhancement into the deck and it's play capture all but five of your opponents amber distributed among any number of friendly creatures very strong card not a lot of scaling control in the set so we're very happy to see that hopefully we have some way to delete that amber like a um gateway or not a gateway uh doorstep to heaven uh, Badge Magus is a four power human knight with deploy. Fight and ready with each of Badge Magus's neighbors one at a time. That's pretty good. Cleansing Wave. Heal one damage from each creature. Gain one for each creature healed in this way. We have shadows, so there's a potential for some big combos with all the pinging damage that is in shadows. A second Cleansing Wave. This one getting a capture pip on it. Um,. Yes, this could be big if we have the right cards in uh, Shadows. Or in Sanctum, there's a, um, a card that does three damage to all flank or all non-flank creatures. So if we have that, that could be really good. Grand Melee. Play, destroy each creature that does not share a house with at least one of its neighbors. A little bit of spot removal for you. Heal or harm. Choose one. Fully heal a creature and gain one. Or ready and fight with a friendly creature. Very strong synergy with Badge Megas. You could get a lot of uses out of your creatures on the board through that. A second one of those. Okay. I like that. Shifting battle line. Got an amber pip on it. Move a friendly creature anywhere in your battle line. That creature captures one. Sir Bever. Five power. One armor. Taunting creature. A very strange card. Um... Yeah, you know, I do uh, lots of ways to move the battle line so far. Manipulate your battle line. Very interesting. Staunch Knight, four power, two armor. Staunch Knight gets plus two armor while it is on a flank. Ooh, strange ordination. Three amber pips play only if the tide is high. Excellent burst. On to shadows. We're starting off with master plan. Put a card from your hand face down under master plan. Omni, play the card under master plan destroy master plan if we can get some of those uh mass damage cards i was talking about all those those peeing cards in shadows here we could put um cleansing wave under master plan could be pretty bonkers borrow a very nice card uh it is an action with an amber pit play take control of an enemy artifact while it's under your control it belongs to house shadows very, very happy to see that. Safe or sorry. Choose one. Archive any number of friendly creatures from play. Choose a creature. Deal one damage to it for each amber your opponent has. So you choose one of those two effects. Hopefully we have some sea urchins. Very strong with safe or sorry. Get the ability to um, steal that amber again. Cement Shoes has got an amber pip on it. Play deal two damage to a creature. If this damage destroys that creature, raise the tide. Good to see some tide uh, raising abilities in here. 
Gas Pipes Malone, three power. Before fight, the creature Gas Pipes Malone fights captures one from its own side. Okay. Whoops. A second Gas Pipes Malone. Hobnobbler, three power action. If your opponent has six or more, steal two. It's pretty effective. Pretty good card. Hornswoggle, Amber Pip on it, action. It Use an enemy artifact as if it were yours. Lots of artifact hate in this deck. Jackie Tar, two power elusive reap, deal one damage to a creature. If the tide is high, deal six damage to a creature instead. Loot or pillage, play, choose one, steal one, or a friendly capture. A friendly creature captures three. A second loot or pillage, a third loot or pillage. Wow, I mean, steal three is is not bad. Um. It's just straight up stealing. Like, I guess I guess that's pretty good. Or, you know, you can get a stop and a pinch with the with the capturing. Um unfortunately we don't see any of those mass damage cards I was talking about. Uh we do have a, a decent bit of stealing. Say for sorry. Uh, how many creatures do we have in here? Three? Four? Four creatures. Um Say for sorry. Not a lot of great targets for Safer Sorry so far. Hopefully we see something in Star Alliance that's gonna that's gonna work out for us there. But yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Uh on to Star Alliance. We've got the plasma nozzle. This deal this creature gains before fight deal two damage to the attacked creature with two damage splash. Uh so Cleansing Wave could get some value off of that. Um, that's not that's not too bad. CXO Tabor, very nice. A three power alien Crix fight slash reap. You may play or use a non Star Alliance card this turn. Very strong card. Xeno training action for the remainder. Uh, play for each house represented among friendly creatures. A friendly creature captures one. Good little bit of amber control there. Diplomat Agung, two power, play fight reap. For the remainder of the turn, a friendly creature belong belongs to the house of your choice in addition to its other houses. Okay. Second one of those. Wow. So lots of house cheating, but I mean, we just don't have a lot of creatures here. So a little disappointing. I mean, yeah. Like there's just there's just not a ton of creatures to use with the diplomat. Um, so hopefully uh, we'll be able to make good use of it here. Grand Alliance Council is an action. Choose a creature of each house. Destroy each creature not chosen. Very strong card. Second one of those. Very happy to see that. That's great. Lieutenant Valmar. Three power. Play fight reap at the tide is high. Keys cost plus three during your opponent's next turn. You might scoop this up with safer sorry if you're in the right situation it might it might be worthwhile to to have him uh hidden away in your archive so you can increase the key costs again on a future turn uh yeah that that could be worth it light of the archons this creature gets plus one power and plus one armor for each upgrade attached to it not a lot of other upgrades and here have we seen any other upgrades yet I'm not seeing any here. Oh, we have the plasma nozzle. So that that's pretty good. Uh you could definitely put that on like the the Sanctum Guardian or the Badge Magus and get some get some value out of that. Uh Shield You Later. Okay, well there's another upgrade. Three power two armor creature. Shield you later may be played as an upgrade and it gets it gives plus two armor. So yeah, your Sanctum Guardian loaded up with a couple of these upgrades could get really big, really hard to d deal with. Uh, Unity or discard, choose one. A friendly use a friendly non Starlines creature. Return up to two friendly creatures and each upgrade attached to them to their owner's hands. And zap, deal one damage to a creature for each house represented among creatures in play. Um. Okay, interesting deck. My concern is there's a lot of house cheating in here and just not a lot of creatures. So, like, your diplomats are not going to do much. Um, Tabor is still va valuable because you he can play from hand. 
But the diplomats, I'm a little worried about uh, having that much house cheating with so few uh, creatures in the deck. And, and yeah, it, and, and Badge Magus too. Badge Magus is also, you know, has some potential for house cheating. Uh, but there's just not a lot of cards in the deck, so I, I don't know. Um, let's count Amber Pips to start. One, two, three, four. Um, we can count these as Pips. Five, six, seven, because you're almost always going to be able to steal with that. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So decent, decent pips um zap goes okay with cleansing wave not great you can kind of just spread the damage out and then you know with the master plan you potentially could trigger it right away it's uh you know i mean maximum absolute maximum of six amber off of one which is you know good if you can get six amber but if you can burst for like three with it i mean that's fine i suppose um Yeah, the let's look at the creatures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen creatures. So, yeah, I guess it's not super, super low, but it's definitely not a lot. And the, five of them are in Star Alliance, so the, all that house cheating is kind of um, a little less exciting than it might be otherwise. Um, Badge Magus has some good things to go next to it, like the, the Sanctum Guardian and the Staunch Knight could be pretty strong. And it should be easy for you to set it up with the ability to move creatures around your battle line let's look at the amber control in here we have Walmart, xeno training three four five six seven eight nine ten um one of them being bringing low so that's actually pretty good um yeah i mean a lot of this is capture but there is some stealing there's no scaling stealing but we do have the scaling capture which can stop your opponent for at least a turn uh and some some big creatures that could could capture it and keep it a little bit safe uh and then board control is looking pretty good to Grand Alliance Councils, Plasma Nozzle, three cards, four, spot removal there, five. Probably going to use this for damaging most of the time because there's not a lot you want to scoop up. So six. Grand Melee, seven. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good board control, so I'm not too worried about that. So I guess what you want to do with this deck is probably play from the hand a lot. Uh, you're not going to be playing into your board too much. You're going to try to get to cards like Strange Ordination um, and uh, your Bring Low to get off value. Uh, Master Plan can help you set up the Cleansing Wave. You are not going to want to hold the Cleansing Wave because there's not a ton of efficiency here. And it's not going to be worth going board often. I mean, if you can have, if you have a big board, and you can keep going into Star Alliance and like keep these creatures safe behind Taunt, and just keep uh, getting big house cheating turns out of Star Alliance, that's great. But I just feel like it's going to be a little bit hard to get there with the few number of creatures in the deck. So uh, interesting deck. I'll have to try it out and see how it does work. Peregrine Amu, Amuda, Amud, I, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, I've been Brabnar89. You have been watching Call of the Week. Another groundbreaking discovery. I will catch you next time.